right, everyone. Um, welcome to Coverings 2018. My name is Ryan Blair. I'm Senior Product Manager for uh, grout sealants and some uh, waterproofing membranes. With me today, I have Christopher Brana. He's our Product Manager for self-leveling, self -leveling, underlayments, thick mortars, yeah. and thick bed mortars. And we have uh, the esteemed Kurt Weber doing all the work for us today. Uh, Kurt's out of the DC area. He's been a rep for us for uh, decades, multiple decades. Um, so today what we're gonna talk to you about is <clears throat> some very game-changing technology. Um, the two products that we have here, one we're calling the Quick Cure Mortar Bed, and then we also have secondarily a, a Hydroband Quick Cure Waterproofing Membrane. So what does Quick Cure stand for? Quick Cure is basically a, a rapid system. These are two rapid systems used in conjunction. By using these in conjunction, you can actually make a full mortar bed shower within a day, in less than a day, essentially, um, utilizing this technology. Um, it, it's truly revolutionary. It's the fastest system in the market today. And we'll talk to you about all the features and benefits for both of these. Kurt right now is just pulling the mortar bed, putting it all together, as you can see on the screen here. And uh, Chris can take you through the quick cure mortar bed, its features and benefits. Yeah, thank you, Ryan. Yeah, so what Kurt is basically doing here is a bonded mortar bed. Basically, you have a, a plywood, and you're going to apply some sheeting, and then you're going to put a galvanized metal lath, and then start working your mortar bed. So for this, basically, we recommend, comes in a 60-pound bag, going to mix it with at least a half gallon of water, maybe up to 0.8 gallons. And we're starting at like 3 eighths, and then we're going to ramp 3 eighths out over a linear drain, and they're going to ramp up from there. So let me... Kurt just packed the drain in right now. So you want to just have it right to a dry pack consistency, not overwater it, basically. Anything else uh, you want me to comment on, Kurt? All right. The drain is fully bedded. Put the slides on. So while Kurt is doing this, I'm going to start talking a little bit about the Quick Cure mortar bed, and then we'll bridge into Ryan talking about the uh, Hydroband Quick Cure. Ryan, would you uh, go to the slide? So basically, the Quick Cure mortar bed, uh, Latacrete has a lot of products. We already have existing uh, thick bed mortar screeds and mud products. This is our latest addition we're very proud of. Uh, it's a quick cure mortar bed, polymer fortified, so basically no need for latex additives, just add water. Um, rapid setting, we're talking foot traffic walkable in 30 minutes, okay? So very revolutionary. Working time around 25 to 30 minutes. We have it in a 60 pound package bag, okay? A lot of other people carry it in a 50 pound bag, so you're gonna get more material, more coverage to work with it. And it's very versatile. Interior, exterior applications, shower systems, tile, wet or dry applications. In terms of approximate coverage in the 60 pound bag, we estimate around 14 square feet at a half inch, six square feet at an inch, and three square feet at two inches. So as you can see here, Kurt is laying out the rest of the mortar and working at a straight edge, basically, as he's going over it. <laughs> Brian, let, uh, if we could move to the next slide, I'll be happy to talk about some more things. So this is very versatile also in that you can use it on, on virtually a quite a few different substrates. Concrete, ceramic tile and stone, concrete or brick masonry, exterior glue, glue plywood, cement mortar beds, backer board, and a whole slew of other stuff as well. Any questions at this time? So what's nice about this is, you'll see, I'm talking about my product, Ryan will talk about his. The beauty of it is the combination of the two is what's gonna make this a super powerful uh, mortar bed shower system.
Those of you who are familiar with mortar beds, you know it does take time on a traditional mortar bed for the set time as well. <laughs> it's looking good, Kurt. So basically you want to have your white water mixture, you want to have a wood float here, a straight edge, and a margin trowel. It is a rapid set system. You have about 25 or 30 minutes to work with the mortar bed, so you've got a little bit of time. Once that sets up, you have a half hour and you can walk right on that. And when you can walk right on that, you can start putting down your Hydro-Band QC immediately. Still troll. The Hydro-Band QC, it has wet cure technology. What does that mean? It's a moisture cure product. So it wants water, it wants moisture. You don't have to wait that normal 72 hours to put on this new waterproofing membrane. We've done a, a ton of field trials over the last couple months and uh, some of the comments are, I feel like I'm cheating. Some of the guys know that this is a game changer. They're doing showers within a day. It's amazing. Brian, do you want to take them uh, to my next slide and we can transition sure. into yours? Yep. So real simple, in terms of features and benefits, I talked a little bit earlier. Okay, it's uh, basically polymer rapid setting, walkable in 30 minutes, what does that mean? Your tile and shower system installations in a lot faster time. Polymer fortified, no need for any latex additives, basically just add water, simple as that. It's pre-blended, you don't have to worry about doing it on the job site and blending in powder, sand or cement. Economical, of course, it's going to save you time and money in the long run and save on those, those costs, get the job done quicker, and it's very versatile, as I mentioned earlier. Variety of applications and a lot of different suitable substrates. We talked to a lot of contractors. This, uh, th these two products, in conjunction, can save people thousands of dollars. I mean, think about what you can do with that time. Two extra days. Now you can get on to the next shower, the next system, the next, the next job immediately. Those of you who work with traditional mortar beds, let's face it, when you're out in the field there, how long does the whole job take you know, to get through everything? And working in a shower system as well. <laughs> Kurt, how did it spread for you? Pretty good? <laughs> so we're just smoothing it out and then we're going to be transitioning into the uh, Hydroband Quick Cure waterproof membrane. Those of you in the audience, how many are, are used to working with traditional mortar beds or muds? And what are some of the things that you, uh, you encounter there? Do you, do you see the long working time and all of that? How long does it take you to lay out traditional mortar bed? What? Yeah. Are you Probably takes a little bit longer when you're combining it in a shower system as well as opposed to a tile installation, right? Would it take a couple days, you know, maybe a few hours? Yeah. Obviously, for traditional mud beds, you're going to have to wait, you know, the 72 hours before you put on traditional hydroband. Um, you know, for demo pur purposes, we're not going to wait the 30 minutes for this to be walkable, but. Um, we're gonna start with the quick cure as soon as Kurt's done, kind of packing it out, making sure it's flat. Okay, because I have a stainless steel linear drain in here, I need to wipe it off, I need to clean it up before we water it. Okay, so I'm gonna go very gently around the perimeter. It's 
So what Kurt's saying, if uh, you couldn't hear him, he needs to take off all the mortar bed off the drain just so that we can actually apply the quick cure so that it has good bond strength. So what we had already pre-made here, we adhered the last to the sheeting to the plywood, bonded, right? So if it was unbonded, basically, you'd want to get two inches. So you want to put between the, the, the sheeting and the lath an inch of the mortar and then an inch over the lath, basically, and then secure it. So you want to get minimum two inch. All right. I want to pack it a little. Looking more. good. Looking <laughs> good. What do you now guys think so far? Now we have the second, so second step. All right. Now that Kurt's done with that, you want to uh, flatten that out a little bit, just then spray a little bit on it too. And it's fine. We're putting more water on it with this new QC is fine. That's going to help it cure. Like I said, it's got the wet cure technology. It, it, it accepts that water. It wants that water. It helps it actually cure up. So our, our new QC, it's gonna come in a one gallon pail. You're gonna get about approximately 120 square feet for that one gallon pail. Um, obviously it's a little bit more than our traditional hydro band because you're gonna put this down two coats, six mils thick. So you do two coats, one coat, wait 15 minutes, put the second coat down, another six mils, total of 12 mils. At the coves and corners, we recommend doing a minimum of 30 mills just so that you can have some movement and uh, up to a 16th inch of uh, crack isolation. So at least it's got that little bit of uh, movement there. Okay, what you didn't hear was Ryan telling me to trowel it again because it wasn't smooth enough for him. <laughs> okay? Now what that means is he's trying to get this thing smooth, smooth, smooth and really, really hard before he puts that hoop on it. Because we don't want any pinholes, obviously. Pinholes would be... And he's actually, he's actually pushing me a little too fast. <laughs> okay? Because this motor bed, although it is ready in 30 minutes, it hasn't been 30 minutes yet, has it? Okay, it's been like, since I finished, about four minutes. So, realistically, 20 minutes from now, that waterproof is going to go on here really, really nice, regardless of what I do to it. But because he's trying to force me to go faster, <laughs> he's, he's made it so I have to get this surface absolutely perfect. Okay? And we know what you're about, Kurt. It's all but about perfection. I'm, I'm, this is being said because I'm warning you. <laughs> and you're buying time. I'm, I'm warning you and I'm buying time. Because what I'm warning you about is the surface of this mortar bed is still really granular. Now the nice part is it gives you a lot of working time. Even though this is a rapid, this is a rapid mortar bed, it gives you plenty of time to work with the material. But then in 30 minutes, it's hard. So what we're experiencing here is, by him pushing me, is this surface is still granular. And if you know what granular means, when I try to put a liquid membrane over the top of it, it's probably going to roll bit. up in this roller. So we're going to maybe wait a minute here and let this thing sure. tighten up a little bit. Even if we put a little more water on it to no. keep that down? It's done. Okay. Yep. Um, let's go through it again. What did we do here? I have a linear drain. I bedded the linear drain. You saw me pack it completely underneath, all around the linear drain. That thing's got to be fully supported, fully, fully bedded in the mortar bed. Once we've done that, we then screed off the, the quick curing mortar bed all the way to the, to the stainless steel edge of the tray. And then once that's done, don't mess my shit up. <laughs> this is not yours. This is mine. I don't come to your house and mess your cookies up. <laughs> All right. So this, now that we've cleaned off the, the linear drain, it's stainless steel. The hydroband 
Liquid applied waterproofing sticks directly to the stainless steel, so we can then do the perimeter. If, this, if these were walls were backer board, we would waterproof the entire mortar bed to the linear drain and all the way up the walls behind the tile. We'd have a complete waterproof system. Okay? You want me to throw some? You ready to? Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. Let's try it. All right. Everybody say a nice word. This is where, think this is where it all goes well. All right. All right. Do you want the pan? And of course, you got to love the nice color we have here, right? Stands out. Yeah, it's too wet. Yeah, it's going to pull up a little bit, being this wet. Obviously, you need that half hour to uh, let this set up. It's not going to pull up, sort of. It's going to pull up. So, yep. anybody see the video? Yep. So let me. Uh... Okay. Backer board. Anybody have any questions? Fuck. Where's my mic? The mic was. Uh... Unless we have some backer board or something. Would you repeat the question, sir? Okay, this is the point during a presentation, during a demonstration, where you feel really, really sorry for me <laughs> because I can't make this work. All right? I can't make this waterproofing go onto this mortar bed because it hasn't had a, the enough time, the recommended time, to really firm up. If you can come, if you see, if you come up here afterwards, I'll be happy to show you. This mortar bed's getting ready, but it's not ready yet. Still granular on the surface. And I guess that's the plus side is this has a lot of open time, a lot of workability, but at 30 minutes, this thing's going to go off like a rocket, all right? And it's going to get real tight and real hard. At that point, we can waterproof. So if you'd all like to stick around, we'd be happy to do that here in about 15 minutes. Unfortunately, we have another group coming up here after us, so we have to get the stage back, okay? So I'm going to have my two friends here pick this up and carry it back there, Okay. all right? Uh, Kurt, there was a question. Would a oh, question. Yeah, yeah, would a fan help to to accelerate the, uh, the drying? Uh, this this material is drying with with this drying exothermically. It does not require air movement to dry faster. That's going to just make the surface um, lose some of its workability, but it's not going to make it dry faster. This is all this is all chemically drying quick. Uh, this is unique technology in that we are. This is a rapid setting material but it also retains moisture so this mortar bed gets extremely hard. This mortar bed's hitting over 4,000 PSI. I repeat, 4,000 PSI. So it'll spark a trial tomorrow. Okay? Any other questions? Mortar beds? Any additional questions? If, any, no? if anybody would like to pull some of this mud, I'd be happy to mix up three or four bags for you and uh, have at it. All right, thank you for your time. Please stick around, we're gonna waterproof this here shortly. Thank you.